Hey, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. Today we've got a really cool tip on the serve. I'm calling it the dangle. It totally helped one of my students on the court this week and I wanted to share it with you. So we'll be right back. All right guys, so this is Pete with Crunch Time Coaching. We are out here, it's beautiful in Georgia. This is exciting, look at this. I'm actually in shorts today. Can you guys see that? This is probably the first time this year I'm doing a YouTube tip in shorts and not freezing. So I'm totally excited for you and for me because that means the weather's changing. We can really get out there and do what we love for the for uh, many months now. And you know, you wanna go out there and be successful on your serve. So I wanna get right into this tip called the dangle. And it's gonna help you with your racket drop. You've probably heard of the racket drop to where you, know, you wanna serve lots of rec players, they get tied up here and they just kinda of muscle that serve forward. And if you watch the pros, they come here and the racket drops, all right? It drops down low and then they're able to shoot out of there and make that serve. So I'm calling this in, in the serve progression the dangle. And what I was having my student do as he was getting ready to serve, I'd have him come back here and get into what I call selfie. This is like you, where you could take a picture of yourself. So this is the selfie move right here. So that's the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get into a move called selfie, but then we're gonna go into the dangle. And what I want you to do, look how I've opened up my hand here. I literally want you to open up your hand like this to where the racket butt faces the sky just to get that feeling of relaxation. I think this is why lots of people can't get the racket drop. It's not that they're not flexible enough, it's that they hold their hand too tight. So if you hold your hand tight the whole way, you get to about here and then you start muscling forward. But if you can start to learn to just dangle there, you see that? Dangle straight up to the sky. So you wanna get that racket butt going straight up to the sky there. And then, and then you're gonna, and, and it's gotta be back here. Make sure you're not you know, looking like this. We wanna be back here, all right? In the scratch your back position. But it's easier if you let yourself relax and go into dangle. If you were to be holding the, the see the more I grab onto my racket, look what's happening. The racket's coming straight up. So we come here and we wanna be here in selfie and then we go into dangle. And from dangle, then we're gonna go, I know I'm coming up with a lot of, a lot of weird stuff lately. Gotta get myself checked out. But from dangle, then we do something called the sprinkler move, right? You know how a sprinkler goes across the yard like this, right? So I want you to think about your arm now going into sprinkler. You see, I just move that into sprinkler and then throw. So all together, it looks like, like this, a la uh, Serena Williams there. Here, she's getting ready to play a match, she does she does a lot of this in her warm up. See that? And the way I'm getting this so relaxed back here is I'm dropping into dangle. And then what you, what you wanna do is once you feel yourself get into dangle, you wanna think kind of dangle sprinkler. The more you can get those two moves to go together, see I get into dangle and I kinda want it to turn into like a loop. See that? Dangle sprinkler and there goes the serve. So I'll demo a couple from the back so you, so you can see. So here we go guys, so I'm here. I'm gonna come into the dangle, sprinkler and through and, and we wanna, and this is something you just really wanna practice without the ball for a while. Just practice first of all doing this and dangle and just let it, see if the racket can start to kinda go back and forth in your hand, you'll know you're pretty relaxed. So see if you can do that, boom, down, then we're gonna go into sprinkler, all right? So I'm gonna put this all together for you now and hit some serve. So I'm here, dangle and sprinkler. Okay, so as I got nice and relaxed there, we could really see that racket and drop. And it also helps if you got that kind of grip. It really helps kind of the more relaxed you are here, it's easier to come out of there 
and get a lot of nice spin action on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I actually have something I put together. Uh, you know, you I noticed a lot of people are kind of watching more and more of my videos. So you may have had this course already. So if you've already had the course, you don't need to click the link here. But if you haven't seen my free serve progression, it's about 15 minutes long and we cover a little bit more into the self. We also go over a move called the seesaw. We've got uh, the tuck in there. It's, it's kind of a cool way to think about the surf from beginning to end and, and make it into a flowing progression. So if you've not checked that out yet, you can uh, click here below. There may also, I think if you're on mobile now, YouTube allows you to put a, uh, like a little thing you can click, click up at the top. So it'll either be down here or up here somewhere around now I hope <laughs> and uh, and you can watch that otherwise subscribe to my channel if you want to see all my videos as they as they come out I love a comment comments cool questions are cool and we'll see you on the next video